Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. So today's video is going to be a tutorial on this hair that I made into a wig. I was sent four bundles of 24 inch natural wave hair and a 13 by 4 20 inch natural wave frontal from beautyforever.com. I'll have all of the links and the promo codes down below in the description box so make sure you guys check that box out. So today we will be flexi rodding this wig. We will be using four packages of the red flexi rods as well as two packages of the yellow flexi rods. Because this hair is 24 inches, I did get the 10 inch long flexi rods just so that I have enough space on the actual rod to twist the hair. I'll also be using a wide tooth comb and a brush to detangle each section as well as some hair clips to hold back the hair. I'll be using a spray bottle of water as well as a curl enhancing mousse by Design essentials okay so let's get started the first thing that I am going to do is section off the hair and then within that section I'm just going to detangle it and take a smaller section within the larger section I'm then going to spray it two to three times with my bottle of water and then I am going to grab my flexi rod I am going to fold the flexi rod at the top because this does help you keep a steady hand um, motion as you're doing this and then I am going to basically just twist and wrap, twist and wrap, twist and wrap until I get close to the bottom. Once I'm at the bottom, I am going to add some of that Design Essentials mousse because it is kind of tacky. It's not sticky, but it's a little bit tacky and that does help the hair stick to the actual rod at the ends. And then we are going to basically hold that in place and then create a bantu knot within that flexi rod. So we're going to create a bantu knot to make sure that this hair stays as tight and is locked in place so that the curl can um, take its form and its shape. So whichever direction you choose to wrap the hair around the rod is the direction the curls will go. So because if I was doing a wand curling iron type of hairstyle and I wanted to do something with curls going out of my face, when I get to the left side of my face, I'm going to wrap the hair around towards the right and that will create the curls coming out of my face. If I did it the opposite way, then the curls will come towards my face. Does that make any sense? I hope it does. But you will notice that my hand motions are different when I am working with the left side of the head versus the right side. So now that I'm on the right side, you see that I'm wrapping it towards the left what I'm doing on the left hand side I'm going up and under what I'm doing on the right hand side I'm going up and over and that is helping the curls to get out of my face and to make sure that when they dry it does go a certain way So now that I am at the frontal portion of this wig, I'm just going to section it off. I do want a middle part, so I'm just going to um, put that middle part down and then I'm just going to work in small sections as I was before. And I am going to continue alternating between the red and yellow flexi rods. The yellow ones are smaller, so if you use the yellow ones, the curls will be tighter as opposed to the looser red size. We're just going to do it as tight as we can and continue those motions until we are done the entire head. Just remember as you're doing this that you don't want the hair to be too wet because we started off with dry hair. We don't want to completely soak the hair with water because it will take longer to air dry if you do choose to air dry this wig. As you are twisting and wrapping the hair, it is important to make sure that you are doing it as tightly as possible. And it's also really important to make sure that there are no visible gaps in between the actual spiral that you are creating. So make sure that you're doing the wraps close together.
Usually I allow my um, flexi rods to air dry overnight, but for the sake of this video, I am going to get my blow dryer and I am going to make sure that this hair does dry. So I did this and then I let the wig sit for about two hours and now it's going to be time to take the flexi rods out. So I'm just going to put some oil on my fingertips and I'm just going to unloosen that bantu knot. Um, and then I'm going to start at the bottom of the hair where it is wrapped around the flexi rod and I'm just going to unloosen it very slowly carefully and allow that curl to spring out and then when I'm done with the flexi rod I am going to just pull that um, curl a couple of times and that is going to make the curl widen so that it can look a little bit more fuller. A lot of people prefer to physically move the actual rod to unloosen the curl. But the reason why I don't like to do that, I'll show you right now, is that when you do use the rod to unloosen the curl, a lot of times the hair gets tangled, as you can see right there. Um, so to avoid that, I usually just start from the bottom and unloosen it slowly, um, just to make sure that if there are any tangles, it is taken care of by the time I get to the top. Um, but you can do it either way, whatever way is comfortable for you. My favorite thing about flexi rods is the fact that you get these beautiful springy bouncy curls that are shiny and gorgeous and you did not have to put heat on the hair and the curls do last a lot longer when you use rollers as opposed to using um, a flat iron or a curling wand or something like that to create the curls. Okay, so here's the final look. At this point, you have the option to leave it the way that it is. You have the option to separate them more, which is really pretty. But me, I'm just going to run my fingers through this hair a couple of times and then I'm going to grab my pick and I'm going to pick out the roots where the frontal is because I don't want you to be able to see where I parted the hair. That's, that looks weird. And I want to create fullness with the hair as well. I don't want to have that much frizziness with this hair, so I'm not going to run my fingers through it that much. Just two to three times max and I am going to do it with some oils on my or oil on my fingertips so that it won't promote frizziness but yes this is the final look please let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section don't forget to look in the description box I'll have all of the links to this hair down below as well as some promo codes coupon codes for you guys if you are interested I do really like this hair a lot this is a beautiful hairstyle and so easy to do and the curls last so long um, so yeah, let me know down below in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not already. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys. It's